It's not just gay athletes facing discrimination in Russia. Others in the gay community there say fleeing their country is the only option for a life free of intolerance. Robin Gill has the story of two men seeking refugee status here in Canada. Gay Pride Week in Vancouver isn't just about a colorful parade. It's one of the country's biggest shows of support. Maxim Zavravlev was mesmerized. I'm very happy and liberated. I was able to attend the Gay Pride and it was liberating to see so many straight people are allies. It's not the case in Russia. The Russian gay activist is now seeking asylum in Canada. He claims he's been physically attacked and when he asked police to investigate, the officers didn't take him seriously. He's not alone. Andre Sanstov is also a refugee claimant. In 2011, he organized the Deaf Gay Pride Parade in Moscow and was promptly arrested. In Russia, there's a lot of fear being gay. In recent months, gay rights activists have been arrested while protesting Russia's new laws, which prohibit promoting homosexuality in public. It's created a climate of, of fear in, in the um, LGBT community, and it's also is giving out the message that it's uh, okay to, you know, to bash gay people. Which is why many in Russia are looking to Canada for help. I was extremely disturbed to see that, that new laws are now being used to persecute rather than protect. Canada's immigration minister says he's taking these cases seriously. Russia should not be taking a step back. Uh, we expect them as hosts of uh, forthcoming Olympics to do the right thing. Russia is set to host the Sochi Olympics in 2014. And because of this recent turn of events, worldwide, there's a petition to get the games moved. For Zaravlov, it goes beyond the Olympics. He worries for his friends back home who have gone back in the closet. I'm very afraid for my fans. Uh, I don't envy them. They live forced to by the government to lie that they're straight. He's hoping Canada will listen to these concerns and allow him to make a safe home here. Robin Gill, Global News, Vancouver.